Uh, we got a donation deck today from City of Ass. <laughs> he said to uh, play an Enchantress list you think would be good. So I looked at some Enchantress lists and I made some changes that I thought would be good in that chat thought it would be good. Apparently Suppression Field is pretty good right now. It seems like it would be. Uh, I wanted at least one Rest in Peace. I kind of wanted more for the Delver matchup, but then I ran out of room. So here we are with a no fetch suppression field enchantress list playing Satessan Champion instead of Green Sun Zenith. Are those the only wild growths? And we're just waiting for a card. This one to be arriving from trusty card hoarder and then we'll get started on the league the sideboard has another rest in peace a couple graph diggers cages um just trying to put some stuff in here that is going to be good against the companion decks because it seems like that's mostly what there is. A lot of companion decks. A lot of killing you very quickly. Yeah, Cage seems good. Good against Delver. Good against uh, some other decks. <laughs> it's good against the. Uh, what do they call that? Gar uh, that other one, that six drop, I don't know. Where are you at? Is this you? Oh, it is you. I've been waiting for no reason. We're here, and we're ready to go. All right. So thanks again, City of Ass. Let's see how this league goes. I've never done well with uh, Enchantress. Maybe today's the day. Makes sense. Yeah, I don't think that deck sounds like it's very good. I think it'll be good against a deck like this, but we can mulligan to our hate. Yeah, this is a glass cannon. Um, Cavern of Souls doesn't work against, uh, against Flying Brick Trap. So that's kind of cool. I also wonder if we're supposed to bring in Mind Break Trap against the Fox deck. Seems like they cast more than three spells on turn one, but after that, they're dead. I mean, I can cast it for four mana with a couple growths. Anyway, let's go. Never mind. Yes, the frustration of playing a combo deck and not knowing how to beat. <laughs> not knowing or not being able to beat counter magic. You can just scoop to counter magic. That's why I put the four Mangrobate traps in here. Well, uh, the fourth one. These draw cards. I guess I'll play it. If suppression feels good, especially. Suppression field with this isn't the best, right? Oh no, you can sacrifice. 
you pay you have to pay two mana to sacrifice it doesn't seem the best land no force of despair I don't even know what that does so probably not but maybe you never know. Lotus Petal, so we're playing against like show and tell. Ugh. Maybe I wasn't supposed to keep this hand. I forgot I'm playing Enchantress. I, but we're playing against combo. I don't think playing safe is a good idea. They played out a Lotus Petal. I really needed to... Playing safe is like a pretty good way to lose, right? If they hadn't played out a Lotus Petal, I would have played Wild Growth. Oh. Well, Suppressor Field will be good. Well, if I'm trying to hit a land and then wild growth the land so that next turn I could have a lot of mana. Let's find a... something. Land. Seems pretty good. So next turn I'll try and draw another land, and I can play Enchantress into Suppression Field. That list goes off the screen. What list? Oh. Painter? Fetch? <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, the second field actually might help, might actually win me this game. I'm, pl I'm definitely slamming it next turn, even if I don't draw a land. I've got three more enchantments in my in my hand. And now what? Hmm. Maybe they... They already played a land, so now the turn's over? I guess they could play a one-mana spell. That's not activated. Rest in peace would be nice too. Hell yeah.
Lotus Petal? Uh, I thought, for some reason, I thought Lotus Petal didn't work. Brainstorm? Oh, they were going to try and do that. Two, three, four, five, six mana. I need to find something. Now I wish I had Emrakul on my deck. I need to find Doom Lake Giant or something. Um, no, I was looking specifically for a land. Oh, you're saying because I could have sacked it that turn? Yeah. I won't have time to draw a card with any. I see what you're saying, though. I would have seen one more card. Hmm. They didn't get either into play. What did they do? I'm confused. Well, they can't do this, right? So I have some time here. Draw as many cards as possible this turn. Without Emrakul, though, I don't really have an I win button. I guess, uh, the... I guess, like, a rest in peace. Maybe a rest in peace. Or before they get both of them. But they're gonna get them both, right? But this costs three mana, or four mana, and this costs free, right? But somehow they didn't end up with anything last turn, which I don't know how that happened. Yeah, that's that's a little bit of a problem too, isn't it? So this does cost extra mana, so we have time. One, two, three. Play enchant or play Stessing Champion. One, two, three, four. Five. I think we have time here, it looks like. Wait. Yeah, we have time. Well, 
Why haven't they? Ca oh, they don't have grindstone. That's why. Oh, they do. Why haven't they done that? Does that not work? Right, I'm not going to cast a testing champion. Yeah, I know. Did I cut? Yeah, I cut the Emmer Pole. Oh shit. At least we can kill these two. I think we win now. Oh, they all die. Or not. Hmm. We gotta find uh, something. We're gonna draw some cards. Confinement at the beginning of sacrifice. Oh, I have Shroud. Well, that's really good. One more. What happens when we mill ourselves, though? I guess I should stop drawing cards. Never mind. Alright, let's bring that in. And these oofs. And rest in peace. Uh. No, they couldn't because then their creatures all die if I play another enchantment. And if all their creatures die, then they're going to be dead. Um, Banishing Light seems a little slow. These seem better. Maybe this is not better. It was good there, but... Not better. This stuff all seems better. Ooh. Rest in peace seems pretty good. We have a enchantress, we have some card draw. We have a ramp, which is pretty important. Nice.
What's up, Bear? This list makes me worried about decking. Okay. We're playing Enchantress. More conscious about it, I guess. Yeah. I think we have to draw something. I guess this rest in peace is maybe okay. We'll see. Mm. Really? And no artifact. One, two. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. My opponent also doesn't have any uh, companion. S sounds good. See you later, Gorgo. Thanks for the thanks again for the follow. Forgot to reveal Zerda. What's this? Psy. Psy. Grindstone. I need to find that protection from everything spell. The Sterling Grove. Yeah, he's playing Painter. Welder, Goblin Engineer. Two, three, four mana. Um, white. Green. Uh, I guess I was supposed to tap first. They don't play Wasteland. Yeah, Sterling would be great. Oh, but now I've messed up. Oh, no, I'm fine.
Losing confinement might be bad. But at least I'll have this. Maybe. Yeah, uncounterable. Emery to shuffle. Looks like we dodged the uh, painter or removal. Definitely don't have both. Prevent all damage that we dealt to you. That seems pretty good. I guess I should play Enchantress Presence. Or that. To protect this from Pyroblast. Hey, we don't have the mana, do we? No, that only makes one. What a fucking, what a, what an annoying thing. Man, now we're gonna have to discard two cards. I can't even remember what I played this turn. Because they almost beat me with, with it last game. <laughs> with their Pyroblast. Oh man. You know, it's so easier. Are you still here? You know what? You know what fixes the getting milled out problem? Playing Yorian. I think he's gone. They're gonna be so sad when I play Collector Youth. Well, I also, I only have 35 cards left and I have to draw like so many cards. All right, I'll draw a card. Another unbridled growth. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. These are legendary too. Maybe I should like, maybe I should like untap something. I mean, put it back in their hand. I mean, they're definitely gonna concede this turn, right? Nine mana. Every one of these I play actually doesn't, this bad. So I can play this. Here. Um, green. Uh, 
Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> can I make black? I can't make black. I can make black over here. This is sick. <laughs> Got it. All right. Yeah, they were dead, pretty dead there that turn. Also the collector roof, like they would have conceded to collector roof. Maybe I should have just played that. Man, who knew I was the best uh, Enchantress deck builder in the world? Me and my Twitch chat. I know. That's because Oof wasn't going to draw me more cards. I was going to cast it last. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Field does seem... Seemed good against them. I'm not cons convinced it's all that great against Delver, but maybe. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Oh no. What's that? A cat? Okay. Let's see if they can beat Double and shit Elephant Grass with their cat. I mean, yeah, if you can cut off their lands, if they don't counter it. Ancient Tomb, fuck no. Not like this. Not like this. How do we beat that? How are we gonna beat that? Oh shit, Destiny Spinner makes our shit un uncounterable. That's gotta be the sickest thing I've ever heard of. Oh my god. That's hel- That's less hilarious. Fucking A. Whatever. Let's go. You think this is hilarious? Turn one chalice, turn two turn three. You think that's hilarious? Turn one chalice with my Destiny Spinner is hilarious. Their fucking Trinisphere is not hilarious. I mean, we have an answer to this in our deck. Ha! It's not a fucking thing. It's not a fucking thing. Okay. Can we draw lands? Can we draw lands? Not good. Nice. 
I have to choose the color. That's just stupid. I mean, I guess my plan is to play a Grove next turn. Artifact. Artifact. What? Okay. Oh, he's gonna destroy his Trinosphere? Please destroy your Trinosphere! He's at 11. Whatever. Yay, thanks for the follow. He didn't do it. He just targeted it. One, two, three, four mana. So I can actually search Trinisphere or search. Hmm. I think I just play Wild Growth. And then if I draw. Yeah. I can double spell this turn too. I was just thinking I can. Maybe I should have done white. Anyway, it's too late now. Oh shit! We just drew that. One, two, three, four, five. Eight mana, three, four, five, six. Do I care to even use this right now? No. Noodle Legacy, I'm just getting into the format. After seeing a Charbelcher deck, I got interested. I brewed a new Garuda deck and need someone to review it. After this game, can I put a link to the deck list in chat? Sure. I don't think I'll have time to review it. I haven't played with that deck, but you're free to put it in the chat. Yeah, I think so too. I was just thinking I wanted to answer this, but I don't anymore. All right, so suppression field's bad. Rest in peace is bad. Seal seems good. Doomwake seems good. I don't think the grasses are all that bad, and I don't think they're worse than the ones I already took out. Plays Bane of Progress in the sideboard. Elemental 2-2 and battlefield destroy all artifacts and enchantments. 
That would suck. I actually have to bring something in. Oof. We can bring in an oof. Yeah, I don't know. Oof. Let's go. Let's go. Bane of Progress is six mana for a 2 2. That's not going to happen. Have you seen the other Garuda decks where they play like Re uh, Restoration Angel and a Dragon Lord, whatever, that makes their shit have haste? Oh, okay, it's big. I see. Hmm. I think this looks pretty good. Turn two is a testing champion. As long as they don't chalice us. Turn one chalice two games in a row? No, thank you. Don't do it. Don't you do it. I imagine they don't play that card since... Uh, they play a lot of artifacts. That's a pretty good draw too. Um, I think if I don't draw a land, I play Enchantress and Unbridled Growth, or... No, no. One, two. Yeah, it's probably Enchantress next turn to draw the most cards in case they Chalice me later. I can play this later. Actually, it probably doesn't matter. My hand seems pretty good. Good news is, I have three mana if they have a Trinisphere. Chalice, okay. Well then, let's see here. Throw that on Bridal Growth out there first. Next turn. I mean, Enchantress into uh, Unbridled Growth. Why play that? To draw two cards. Oh, why did I play Champion? Because that's how I'm going to kill my opponent. Oh, okay. I just figured it was Enchantress. Ooh, that's annoying.
That's pretty good. So I should probably leave suppression field in. Really? It seems strange. Um. Actually, I should just run an extra card last turn. I didn't realize this champion was enters the battlefield. Ghost quarter. I wouldn't say we're dead yet. Their clock is very slow. Oh, well, now we're probably dead. All right. That's so sad. I'm gonna concede this game. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot allow myself to sit through all the turns for them to kill me. All right, suppression field. That'll teach them. We need to get, I don't know. Angry goat. Why didn't I play around it? I mean, what the fuck am I gonna do? Also, you seemed confused by the cards they were casting after saying I should play around other cards. Yeah. Yeah. This hand's like the Nutter Butters, right? We cannot possibly lose. I shouldn't say that, but it's true. I think just drawing one card off Utopia Spell is great. They're gonna end up Ghost Courting this Ancient Tomb anyway. If they just lead on Ghost Courters, that's... That's, that's fine. I think it was a may on the sac, may on the destroy, but not on the target. I actually don't want them to go score to me here, but I don't think doing nothing on turn one was better. And then, then I guess they're not go scoring Ancient Tomb. Although, did I not draw a card? Oh, this one doesn't draw a card. I should have waited. They have the Drove Scorder, they're gonna go for it. Okay, sure. Doesn't seem the best, honestly.
why some snow covered, some not. Um, because people play predict. I don't think it really makes any difference, though. It makes a little bit of difference. They have to choose. It cuts their chances in half, or so, of drawing a second card. But they almost always just set it up for themselves and, you know, that kind of thing. LOL, Chalice the Void. LOL, Chalice of the Void. Which deck plays predict? Um, Miracles usually would be the one. Yeah, some Yorion decks, some Snow decks. Miracles. Yeah, there's a Lur Luris Miracles deck. Oh, they only playing their cat? Uh, I was a little worried they were going to play a Trinisphere there. I think this game is over. Maybe. Suppression field. All right. So what? Uh, we just need to not get like triple wastelanded next turn. I'm not sure that even exists, but it could. Or that destroy all our enchantments. That would be pretty good as well. Get in there. Really? Maybe they have removal. I don't think I care. Did I draw a card? I mean, I'm just going to play out this seal, right?
I'll start attacking next turn. This is more fun. That was fun. Yeah, I know, I don't want to deck myself. Destiny Spinner gets around Chalice. Pretty sick for sure. This deck definitely seems like it would be really good at decking itself if my opponents didn't concede um, regularly. I was very concerned a couple of times. I will be right back for the next round. Round three. If you're watching on YouTube, check the timestamps for round times. BRB, you can throw on a 60 second ad. All right, round three. You're watching YouTube from the future? <laughs> How good is Nickfit these days? Nickfit has never been good, and I think it continues to not be good. This actually looks like a mulligan. Better. Pretty good. Uh, did we reveal anything? Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Pinguster. How you doing? 
I think next turn I play Enchantress and Wild Growth. Oh. Things are going, things are going. Next turn's gonna be pretty fucking good. Suppression field not looking the best. Maybe it's good. Uh-oh. Force of Will. I'm still gonna play this out. This next turn's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna play Champion and Suppression Field. Draw a card, get a Duder token, pluser, pluserino. Not bad. Even if this doesn't resolve, the suppression field with two lands in play is actually pretty freaking good. I just needed to draw more stuff. Another forest, wow. With omniscience, interesting. That is not the best then. But we have a win condition, which is not bad. Um, that'll get through this. We just need to find a colored source. <laughs> right on time. Not bad though, actually. It's gonna cost me four, six mana. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't have the land. But I can attack. Second Fang, Ice Fang Quaddle. I think it's okay. We have this in play, should be fine. No attacks, though. Um, but yeah, I think they would have played the second one last turn, so that's why I attacked. They definitely were representing another one. Choose to shuffle, that's good. I think I need to get aggro here. Ooh. Oh shit, now we just win because I'm fripping, fripping like a goddamn god. Not just win, but probably win. I would need show and tell omniscience and a wish. Oh wait, this one doesn't trigger. Or does it? Uh, I guess we'll find out. I think it does trigger.
Hey, a land's not bad, is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, we just beat Show and Tell. These suppression fields are good. <laughs> I guess I was only one game. Don't celebrate yet. I don't think these are all that good, but I need something, right? Do they even do anything? I mean, they do if I have something like this. This could be good. No. Solitary confinement seems okay. I can sacrifice a bunch of stuff. We're playing Omnitel. We're playing against Omnitel. I like the Doomwake. Expression feels insane. Sterling Grove's okay. Destiny Spinner's insane. Mind Break Trap is probably not going to get me there, but I feel like I want a few of them. We'll just do two, because they're not going to be that good. Caracas is pretty good, kind of. Actually, you get a counter, they're like... Emrakul. Not if it's their last spell. Like, I think we can beat them if they... I, I don't know. We can we can survive an attack. We just can't survive, like, a, an Emrakul and a Gristlebrand attack. Alright, I'll just do one, because I can't figure out what else to, to get rid of. Sure. We're going to die on turn two now. It's okay, we'll just go Enchantress into Suppression Field. If they're brainstorming here, maybe they're they're gonna get themselves stuck a little bit. Uh-oh. I guess that's actually good. Unless they have another non-fetch land. Uh 
Oh, we can't suppress your field. Shit! I fucked up. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I did I didn't have the mana to guess everything else anyway. What? What? I kind of want to just draw a land. Not that land. I should have made green. doing here. So they're playing Omniscience in Euro. Hmm. Is this the Euro? Oh, Drawn from Dreams. Sure. Pretty okay with that. I should have put this on green. Topia sprawl. Wait. This will make more green. Oh, that could be good. Maybe. I still have to put this on green. Wait. Oh, we do get another draw here. Sick! Let's get a freaking land. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh shit! Oh shit! Why? Why now? Why couldn't that have been earlier? All right, opponent, you have one turn to beat me, I think. I think. I mean, I guess they'll have an, a, a Euro, maybe. One spell. That's one spell. Two. Three. Fuck! Uh. 
Oh, we're dead. If they have the two things. Amrakul and Gristlebrand. Needed one of these things. We had our one mind break tap and it was almost good. All right, well, we're on the play. Do Mike seems mad? I mean, they're playing. They're playing uh, Coatles. Hmm. Mulligan. All right, fuck yeah. You know they only have to cast like one spell though, right? And we don't have a ton of win conditions. Just the destiny spinners. And the, yeah, I mean, I guess, I don't know. Hopefully the suppression field does work. No shuffle. Probably dead. It's not hard for them to play around it though. They just have to cast only show and tell. <laughs> and have more than one more spell in their hand. Does it work against spells that make things uncounterable? Uh, no. It works against fetch lands. It also stops, like, Gristlebrand from drawing cards, but they don't need to draw cards, so... There's that. We need to draw some hate! We don't have the luxury of casting this first. Hey, we draw a mind break trap. That's actually not bad, maybe. Sick! They're passing the turn. Question is, do I like attack into a... Uh, into a quaddle? Probably not. Start attacking with this later. That's pretty good. Do this one. And this one. I can always sacrifice it. They might like have to force it too. 
I don't think I even... Yeah, I can sacrifice it. Oh, they can't force it. I go ahead and attack here, I think. I can win, maybe. Hmm. Better not. I think drawing cards is more important than trading. I'll just sacrifice the stupid confinement next turn. Get in there. I'm gonna put the shit on blue. Freak him out. Let's freak him out. Probably should have done this differently. This isn't ideal, but I'm going to obviously just do it. Oh, you got two of them? That's the fucking massive bummer. So I lose a land, like three mana and a dude. They're not going to do these guys. But they go down to eight, so they're probably like pretty dead. I should be attacking with this though, I messed that up. Oh, they're at three? Oh, that's pretty good. So they have to kill me through the mind break trap. Which means they need show and tell. Which means, yeah. What happens if I activate on a land twice? Um, nothing. Five, six. Let's 
Chalice, bad in the sideboard of Garuda. I've never played the deck. I'm not sure if you're asking me. But I've never played the deck. Wow, we are 3-0. and oh. We are 3-0 and oh with... Enchantress. Okay. Tier one deck, yep. Suppression field's been good. Yes, Honorog, it is a donation deck. Although the list, I was just told to play a list I thought looked good, and so we kind of built it on stream because there's no Enchantress list for the current meta. Destiny Spinner is pretty fucking good. Uh, suppression Field's pretty good. It's definitely won us a bunch of games. It's this Destiny and Champion over Green Sun Zenith, I'm a big fan of. That seems also very good. Seems very good. Seems super good. Oh, Yorian. Hmm. I wish we were on the play. I like being on the play. Arkham's Ashley. Why is it better than Green Sun Zenith? Because it kills your opponent? <laughs> Come on. Green Sun Zenith is a three mana enchantress, right? So, so Destiny Champion kills your opponent for three mana. See what I'm saying? It doesn't have Hexproof though, but whatever. Hmm. I don't think Suppressive Field gets better later. Test and Champion does get better later. Probably should have drawn that card. I'll do it in response to the, uh... Oh, okay. Tight. Two for one. I'm into it. We got more where that came from. They're gonna have, like, a swords or something, though, which is gonna be a bummer, but at least I can, I can get a... Oh, no, I can't get a spell off of this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I think I just pass here. Hmm.
Nothing? That's unexpected. Not bad. Um, I'm not going to attack. Hero, not an issue, a non issue. This is what we call a non-issue. Do we have to play around Terminus, it appears? Somewhat. We can just draw a lot of cards and that plays around Terminus. Baleful Strix. Man, these champions are good though. They like really deal a lot of damage. <laughs> also the Destiny Spinner. I think the Destiny Spinner is like the real deal. Rest in peace. Well, choke. And probably Doom Mike Giant. Rest in peace, Graft Digger's Cage, fail, oof. My opponent didn't really do anything that game, to be honest. Do we care about Uro? Oof, no. Choke, yes. Uh, I think that we don't want that. I don't think we care about Uro that much. I think we care about Oko. Maybe we don't care about Oko. Oko turns our spinners into stuff. So we want like Spinner and Sterling Grove or just overwhelming. That's why I want to bring in the uh, Doomwake Giant. And cut grass. See you later, Pinguster. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by.
This place around some stuff. Cycles at least. Thank you. I hope I get a five out dude. That'd be pretty sweet. I think I keep this. No, they can just counter that. This is better. No, we want our answer there. Uh, this could draw us a card. Wait, we have two, okay. We'll find another white source. Two on top. Wasteland. Hey. Can't cast that, but hey. Let's get it. Let's get it. Sylvan Library, sure. We need to draw land next turn so I can put the wild growth on it. Probably should have kept out the white source that I had. What's this? Uro Oko. Oko Uro. Which one? Dead of Winter. Okay, sure. Land. Draw a land. Gonna three three my my duder. Sure thing. Let's draw, let's draw a white source. White source. Why? Gustav Montes, thanks for the uh, follow. Three, four, five. Sterling Grove seems like really insane. They're at nine. We need another white source though. 
I'm just gonna play Sterling Grove and just a testing champion and let him. What? Oh, that's right. Let's see what I draw. Just making clues. I guess that's good for me. Okay. Well, that's something. Got the removal. Yes. That's not an enchantment though. Library and Oko, pretty hard to beat. Probably going to a third game. At least they're not drawing. Not good. What happened? Put it on top. God damn it. These cards don't work the way I thought they did. On top. Eh, fuck. Man, now I wish I had not done that. This was very bad. All I all he's got to do now is answer this banishing light, and I will concede extremely quickly. I thought it would be worth it to draw a card, but I didn't realize it puts it on top. I thought it puts it in your hand. Actually, I'm probably just going to concede because I'm drawing this thing next turn. I guess I can play it and see what happens. I'm not going to bother waiting. That's all I needed to see.
Just run it back. Let's go. Good hand. Looks good to me. Just gonna lead with green. I wouldn't hate drawing another forest. At least they don't have wasteland though. They could have Thoughtseize, but we're pretty good here. It's not a Thoughtseize. <sighs> got the force, got the force, of course. And then I'm gonna have a force of negation for my presence or abrupt decay. If I draw a land, I'll play out champion. Hmm. Maybe I just play out the champion. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I wish I had a land. I just really don't want to get this Enchantress Peasants abrupt decayed. Oh yeah, I could have done that. Uh, this is okay too, I think. Hmm. A little awkward. I guess we can win with a Doomwaker Giant. Hmm. I don't know. Brainstorm, okay. Probably should have played this to growth here. Whoops. I could I could play a Sterling Grove and Abundant Growth next turn, see if I draw anything, and then I have a protected Doomwake Giant, but it loses to like Baleful or it loses to uh, the uh, thing. At least they don't have anything here. It's a good draw, kind of. Three, four.
One, two. All right, now, I don't mind if they counter this, because I'm gonna just try and kill him with a Doomite Giant. Okay. Also, a Destiny Spinner would be sick. The deck list is in the... Um it's somewhere around the screen. There's a little thing you can click on. That uh, it's cardboard live plugin. You should be able to see it there. So they could have the thing. I'm not sure if I, if I'm supposed to do about that. I guess I just attack. I can tutor something up if they kill it. Nope, they don't have. Uh, Quaddle, so that's nice. I wonder why they didn't um, play Yurion. Maybe they forgot about it. Oh, they don't want to lose two lands. If they play Yurion, I'll put a Enchantment, Enchantress presence on top. Wait. Brainstorm? Why'd they tap that? They shouldn't have tapped that. They shouldn't have tapped their island. Oh, they're gonna be so sad. Unless they have another decay. Any suggestions to play for play any companion legendary? Yeah, play Urian or Luris or the Fox. Those are the good ones in Legacy. Oh, they wanted to get rid of that. Got it. They really have a fucking force of negation here? Jesus. Oh my god. Uh. Now we're gonna lose. That's. was not expected. And swords. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. Please draw like an enchantress.
Not bad, not bad. Hmm. I keep tapping these weird for this one. Feeling kind of stupid. Yes, yes, this card is so good. I'm glad I figured out how to fucking tap my mana. Don't kill it. Don't fucking kill it. Don't you dare. Yorian can block something if they have a mana. Oh, come on! That is not fair. Let's try another one. That will be fair. Unreal. And then they're gonna have. Maybe I'm supposed to play out my Utopia Sprawls for Destiny Spinner top deck. Or one of them. One, two, three. Now they're gonna. Okay, Strix. It's beatable. We have a fair amount of draws. We just need stuff that either draws cards or kills them. Now they have five mana though. They shouldn't attack, I don't think. For fuck's sake. Can't believe they do that fucking abrupt decay. We need to draw these. We have another one of these in there. Two more Destiny Spinners. Three more Enchantresses. The lands have Trample. Oh, okay. Is that right? That's crazy. Wow. I'll just play out one in case I draw a spinner. Or a cantrip into a spinner. Because they're about to get a Yorian, which draws them cards and flickers their Baleful Strix, which means... I guess they have Trample, so that'll be good. Oh, wait, they're not playing it. God fucking damn it. We had this game. Quaddle. Can't believe they're losing this game. After, uh, 
they've countered and answered everything. They didn't play the thing. We drew the thing. Does this mean we win? After I complained a lot? So I need two swords here. And that doesn't answer the problem here. Please don't have three fucking answers. But, but, but every land is lethal off the top until they answer this thing. If they have another fucking answer. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Let's fucking draw some cards. I don't want to lose all these enchantments and lands, so I'm not attacking when I'm I'm gonna just get there like this. This will make my dude worse, but I need to draw lands. And this all is going to be lethal. There we go. Don't judge me for this. I just want to draw cards. I, I think I've got plenty of mana now and lethal stuff. It makes it so that I think you can't... Ooh, that's nice too. It should be fine though, I have so much mana and everything's lethal and this Doomwake's lethal. They have to draw like exactly Dead of Winter right here. And then I have Doomwake Giant, I guess. This plays around Oko. Yeah, that doesn't work, bro. Yeah! This was a weird game. This was a lot of up and ups and downs. But it's over. Oh, oh, I was gonna drop Destiny Spinner anyway. Holy shit. All right, we're 4-0 with Enchantress. I'm gonna take another quick break because I need to like chill for just a second and go grab another drink and all that yeah that was insane <laughs> i never expected to get to four i may have gotten to four no with enchantress before but i still didn't expect it to happen today and 
this list has been pretty good. I'm enjoying it. I'll be right back. I'll throw on it an ad, too. We'll be back shortly. All right, I'm back. Let's see if we can do it. Can I be the first one in the companion meta to 5-0 with Enchantress? It's possible somebody else has, I couldn't find any lists. Lost our match. Matchup. I kind of just want to face, like, I don't want to say what I want to face because then I'll lose to it. What's up, Apology? Yeah, we're 4-0. We're playing probably against Luris here, Bob Buttons, or Fox, something like that. I haven't played him in a while, but I know his style of play, or his style of deck. He's also very good. Luris, oh fuck. Alright. Turn to Suppression Field on the play. I think Doomwake Giant's probably pretty good. I don't know, this might be loose. Destiny Spinner one time. It just makes things uncounterable, you can still kill it. But Spinner into Doom White Giant would be pretty good. Maybe the suppression field does something? Oh, suppression field's looking really good, unless we're dead. Oh wait, no, this is probably still Delver, I'm sorry. I saw a forest. And we're probably gonna get dazed.
that's not a horrible draw. It's not the best. Kind of need black mana. <sighs> Gonna get dazed. Well, at least that didn't get days, which means he might not have days. Ooh, Sword Slash is pretty pretty good reveal. So I guess we'll play uh, ugh, play Enchantress Presence here. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot he was even. Yeah. Green, Tarmogoyf. All right. This is not looking good. Could still have a daze. If he day, if he has a daze, I mean, he chose not. To oh, he pitched a daze. Interesting. Interesting. I guess he didn't want me to have like a spirit guide or something and then just like complete blowout. Although I don't think that I could play spirit guide. I guess he wanted to play Tarmogoyf. I think I'm dead. This sucks. This sucks. Probably should have played around days there. I'm super dead though. I mean, they have a swords in their hand. Yeah, you didn't want to pick up the land to play the Tarmogoyf. Wait, we are very dead. He knows about the Doomwake Giant, so he might not swords, but... He can swords and bobble. I don't really think we have outs. Uh oh, we're dead. <sighs> Boy, that wasn't very close.
Alright. Not these. These aren't gonna do it. Oh, maybe we want one. Hmm. These aren't gonna do it either. These just aren't gonna do it. That swords the flash hairs. Probably abrupt decay, maybe. Hmm. Anything else bad? Field seems pretty good. All that stuff seems pretty good. Um. Cage seems narrow. Maybe I'll cut cut one. I mean, choke's also not that good against them. Oh yeah, and they're not playing red. We'll cut the cages. We got rest in peace. Sand seems excellent, except for against Wasteland, which we saw no Wastelands last game. But he definitely will have Wastelands. They're probably playing three Wastelands. But fit, uh, suppression field is pretty good against Wasteland. No Delver, please. I don't think I can play Suppression Field here. Don't find a Force Will, please. Oh yeah, they're playing green for Tarmic Wife. Feels like no force will, but maybe. I guess we'll find out. That's super sad. I gotta play this out now. Put on white because of wasteland. Next turn I can just place the testing champion, that's kind of cool. Nice. 
I just really don't want to get this dazed, basically. But this, I can get dazed, and also, like, it's harder for them to swords it, because they don't have... They shouldn't have white mana, but they might. They do. <laughs> God damn it. Land. I gotta play this now because they've got a library. They're gonna find their counter magic. They pitch the days. Fuck. God damn it. Ugh. Feels really bad. Their hand was pretty much perfect. Force of Will, Wasteland, two mana without fetching, days, me missing my land drops. That's how it goes. And then meddling mage. That's less scary than I thought it would be. What will they name? Damn it, with this fucking mana. I don't think I can win by not playing things. I don't think playing up mana Makes sense. Gotta hope they don't have a swords also. Don't fucking do it. No shuffle. God damn. Hey, that's not a swords. We can beat this. We can do this. Why didn't they uh, shuffle though? Find a fucking land. Why can't we find a fucking land? 
Might actually win this game, though. We have another Satessian champion now. We just need to find goddamn lands. We have rest in peace. For Tarmogoyf. Both attacking? What's going on? Did you find the swords this turn? I'm gonna play Luris. Tarmogoyf. Ooh. Land! Yes! One, two, three. Let's try Belter Bible. I mean, it's okay. It's not the best. And I agree, that's what the Garuda deck looks like to me. Please don't find another force. Always find the force. I can put a thing on top and make my dudes big and probably not die here. White, black. Swords is obviously gonna be a problem. Very shortly. Interesting. Uh, I can attack, I think. Community of upkeep, controller base two for each creature, so they have to pay like five, yeah, I can attack. Wow, they take it. So I think I can win next turn with the uh, trample dude. Just put that on top. And I can't win next turn like that. Just play this in another suppression field, maybe. But then I can't activate this. Oh, I can't activate this anyway. Hmm. Well, maybe I can, if they're gonna be dead to it, to an activation. Sure. I'm just gonna draw. Hmm. 
Mm. Not bad. <laughs> He also pondered. Forest, wow. I guess he didn't want my guy to get bigger. That's pretty good. All right, I think I might win this game. I'm just like, he blocks one. I'm not taking that much damage. He has to like pay a bunch of mana anyway. Yeah, I think I win this game. And you can play a Luris. He's killing himself. That was crazy. I was stuck on one land for so long. I think I need this. Champion was pretty good. I mean, he's going to have the sword. Have swords. But against... Meddling Mage, it seems good. This card seems bad. And Choke on the draw is probably bad. All right, come on deck. Don't give me a hand that loses to Wasteland. Oh, come on. Draws a card, draws a card. I think I have to keep it. It's extremely risky, but also pretty strong. And we can draw two cards here. Oh no. Oh no. It was very good against Wasteland. All right, we're back to where we were game, but we're facing turn one Delver, which is much worse for us. Swords. And a Wasteland, fuck me. Okay. Do we have time? Gonna get dazed. Forced, always forced, okay. Eleven. I can always kill him with a destiny spinner. I don't know. He's got swords in his hand. I think the play next turn is let's see, one, two, three.
Double wasteland. All right, so. We have to get Enchantress into play here and not get it forced. And then we have a chance. Or we can, I don't know, a second force. God damn. All right, fuck. Two forces. Maybe I was supposed to try a De De Destiny Spinner, but we have to lose the Sarah Sanctum. Also, this thing can just beat him. Like, we could just kill him with it. We have to draw another land. Let's see, one. We're gonna try and kill him with it, is what we're gonna try. Oh, he's got, now he's got white mana, fuck. So we have to surprise him, but that's not possible. God damn it. How do we beat this? Maybe he'll tap out? It's not going to be enough enchantments either. This game was a bummer. Second, Wasteland send double forest. Maybe if we draw like Sarah Sanctum, we can actually still win. He'll be forced to swords of the land. Hmm. Three mana. Three mana. I need five mana. Dead to a land with this elephant grass. If I play the Destiny Spinner, though, I don't really think I have any outs. Also, I'm still dead to a land.
I mean, I'm just dead. Because he's going to find a land. I'm dead to a land and a flip, I mean. I'm going to do it like this. I'm not going to pay, and I'm going to hope to draw the last Sarah Sanctum, I guess. And now I'm dead to a land. It's too bad I'm not at seven, because that'd be sick, like, to have Sarah Sanctum as an actual out at that point. Uh, absolute bummer. <laughs> Tapping out. Why would you do that? I don't understand that. What? Oh, he's paying the... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I was confused. Why are we tapping out? Alright. Why are we tapping all of our stuff? Elephant grass. Um, that was a bummer to not quite get there in the end. Some real uh, ups and downs in that league, but it was pretty cool. Would have really loved to get that 5-0, though, with Enchantress. <laughs> I never would choose to play these decks, but it got a donation deck, and they said to play a good list, so we took a look and couldn't find one, and... Got some recommendations for Suppression Field, and I wanted to play Rest in Peace. Got some recommendations for Unbridled Growth over Fetchlands because of Suppression Field, and that seemed pretty good. Um, I don't think I want any more things in this column. I think you could cut an Elephant Grass. The creatures have Trample, uh, Feldbrigger. So I would just need one, right? Or did I not have enough enchantments? I don't know, I didn't actually do the math. I knew I was pretty dead anyway. Here's what I would change. I would cut an elephant grass. I would add a destiny spinner. I would add a sterling grove. That's 61 cards. Uh, I like that, actually. Spinner. Was Spinner actually that good? I guess it's pretty good. I don't know, because this is one too many cards. Caracas didn't seem that good but I'm not cutting a land. Basically, I would cut one of the elephant grasses. I'm not sure they're all that great right now. Uh, they're good against some stuff, but two seems like fine. Actually, maybe I would just run it the same way. Or just run it like that. Maybe Destiny's Finish is not that good. Unfortunately, lost round uh, five, game three. Green Sun Zenith doesn't seem that good. That's why we came up with this list, or at least that's why I decided to play it like this. Because I just, somebody mentioned this card and this looks better to me than a Green Sun Zenith. So we're playing Satessing Champion. It definitely won us more games than I think Green Sun Zenith would have won us. So, like Green Sun's cool and all, but considering you're not getting any zeros, you're not getting any ones, it's only twos and threes, or just twos, and then sideboard cards. I think it's not at its best in the uh, Enchantress decks, when you can just play more Enchantress creatures. I think I'd play it like this. This looks pretty good to me. Spinner's freaking sweet. And for the sideboard... I mean, we didn't face any of the decks for our sideboard cards. Um, 
I don't know. Looks fine. Anyway, yep. Thanks for watching The League. It'll be up on YouTube later. Or if you're watching on YouTube, thank you.